is Squirrel Army. How's it going? We're talking about Doorkeeper Thrall. You can join the Squirrel Army by subscribing. All right. So two mana, one two flash flyer. Artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. I think this is pretty good. Um, and I think a lot of people have cottoned on to this, that this is pretty good. Um, <laughs> um, there's a few cards that are kind of similar to this that say, you know, creatures entering the battlefield or whatever don't cause uh, triggered effects to trigger. I'm not a huge fan of these sorts of things for the most part, but when you've got people playing their Thassa's Oracle and things like that and just like, Oh, look, I win uh, from this thing's ETB. Sometimes you want to stop ETBs. Um, like, and this can be a good utility card. Like, once when it's in your hand and you're not playing against those sorts of decks that kind of do that sort of thing a whole lot, then you might be sort of sitting there with a card that doesn't do a whole lot. Like, even if it's on the field, it, like, isn't really stopping anything really per se. So, like... If you aren't coming up against, like, people who are playing a whole bunch of artifacts that enter the battlefield and do something, or creature decks that enter the battlefield and do something, then perhaps it's not that good, but certainly when you're playing those decks, or against those decks, it is quite good. So, and it hits both of them, and shuts both of them down. Um, so, it, like, even with, like... Um, the food clue and treasure maker, the academy manufacturer, like I believe that that's effectively based on like entering the field, like because you cr like you create them. Um, I'm not too sure, but maybe maybe I'm wrong there. So, but if it's off of something that says when it enters the battlefield certainly, or whatever, that doesn't happen unless it's in, on an enchantment or planeswalker, but then again, planeswalkers don't really enter the battlefield and do anything, so, or at least none that I can think of, but still, like, certainly that this is, like, an effect that some people will want to play just to sort of stop the Joyra decks and things like that that are just, like, I play an artifact, Joyra triggers, oh, I draw a card, oh, I play another artifact, oh, I draw another card, storm, 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 etc. So, yes, this can have very good applications against some of those style of decks, some of the more degenerate decks and things like that, but certainly, like, I'm not one to be playing a card like this, uh, really, because... Like, beyond tutoring and things like that, or attacking me, or whatever, I don't really like to stop people from doing whatever they're doing. Like, I'll kill creatures or whatever. That's a bit different. But, like, actually actively stopping them from doing whatever they're doing with their abilities, like, for the most part, I don't usually play that sort of hate or stacks or whatever you... or tax or whatever you want to call it just because that's not the way that I tend to play and uh, I'd rather people play the game and see what happens mostly. But when you do come up against, like, Joyra and these decks that are just, like, you know, Thassa's Oracle for the win, whatever, blah, 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 etc., or just, like, going off with all these, you know, creature and artifact ETBs, it can be like, well, you know what, this is pretty good tech for that. You know, plus, like... Flash Flyer, I don't care that it's got more or less power. That's fine. I don't really care about poking people with this. Probably will poke people with this sometimes or whatever. But still, like, that's not the most relevant thing um, about it, even though I'm a combat-focused person normally. But the fact that it's a flyer, that's usually pretty much where I'm at with it, going, well, it's a flyer, so that's not... That's not too bad, because if this wasn't a flyer, I'd probably not really even look at it. Like, like there's a few, like I've said, that are, like, creatures that just sort of sit on the field 
and they don't really do anything. They sort of shut down creature ATBs or whatever else they shut down because there's a few different ones. But the fact that this has flying and hits on two different permanent types, um, just, yeah, I would consider this. I wouldn't, but, like... <laughs> Like, I would consider this over all the other ones just because it's like, well, that's way more impressive to me and it does way more. So it's well more worth the slot, so to speak, um, in any deck. So that, again, even if it's just a one, two flyer with flash, hey, look, it had haste and I can poke somebody who has the monarch or initiative or something or whatever or anything or just poke through and get that planeswalker down a little bit more or anything else. So again, just that extra utility just helps so much because it's just like a lot of the ones that were just like dorks on the ground that couldn't really do anything. Yeah, sure, you're not like always going to be able to do a whole lot with everything but still like, you'd rather be like oh okay cool at least i can poke through with this trampler or poke through with this little flyer or whatever that's fine like you know you're getting that extra like because again you've got to end the game you've got to kill people you can't just hope that you know people you know don't play the game of magic the gathering and die or you, that you just play the game of solitaire and they just, like, concede or whatever. You've actually got to find ways to kill people. And having bodies to, you know, pressure planeswalkers or people's life totals in any format is really good. So, yeah, I'm, I think that this is probably a card that a lot of people will try to pick up and then it'll be a really good card for a lot of, like, stacks-style decks and whatnot. Like, I probably won't think about it. But, you know, like, I'm sure a lot of other people will. And I'm sure I'll see it out there in the wilds and sometimes it'll stop one or two of my creature abilities or whatnot and that sort of thing. But, like, oh, well. That's why I pay persistent effects and that sort of thing because, like, it's not just about the initial value, it's about the value throughout the game and that sort of thing. That's why you play those effects not just oh it does this one thing and that's all it does okay well now it doesn't do anything because your opponent's playing this sort of thing so that's why you've got to have additional effects not just oh it does this one thing oh okay cool what if it can't do that one thing well it's not very good well it's not very good anyway because it's only doing one thing once and that's it and you don't have any real way to like get that you know going and move it forward you know more so so but whatever, it, it is what it is. Like, you can't have every card be, like, bonkers, so bonkers good sometimes. But it is what it is, as I sort of, I sort of said. So some people will find the glee in this, and some people, like me, probably won't. Probably won't ever play it or think about it, really. And just, like, as soon as I get them, if somebody wants them, hey, yeah, cool, however much. Yep, off you go, bye. <laughs> so... That'll be that'll be my experience with this if I pull any in. If I probably will pull a few of them, maybe, and people will either be asking me for them or I would just be like, "Cool, no one wants them." Apparently, I don't know, or and then get rid of them, and then somebody will come along and say, "Oh, did you get any of these?" And I'll be like, "Yeah, but I've already sold them." And they'll be like, "Why didn't you say oh, I did?" But no one was apparently interested at the time, and now they're forty bucks or whatever. I don't know. Probably not going to be that, but still, like, Flash and Flyer, like, well, Flash, just Flash, being able to do it, like, in response to Thassa's Oracle or anything like that, bam. And it's not an enters effect, it's a static effect, so that really helps, especially when some other players are playing, like, your creatures don't enter the battlefield, whatever, or your artifacts, whatever sort of effects, so... But then again, I guess they will just stop fastest unless they're killing it or something. Whatever. But still, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this card. What you guys think. Uh, do you think I'm right, wrong, in between? Whatever you want to say down there in those comments. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you'll join me again in another one.